Welcome to Fun Uber Games. Check out this article that came out last week. In the state of New York, they've confiscated $20 million in lottery winnings over the past four years from people who collected welfare. So apparently if you've been collecting welfare and you have a nice lotto win, they could take half of that winnings and you only get the other half and you still have to pay taxes on the other half. So apparently a lot of states, and I didn't realize this, but a lot of states deduct back taxes or unpaid child support from lottery payouts. So if you didn't pay your taxes in the past few years or you owe child support, then um, and, you, and you hit a lot of win, then half of that can get taken. But in New York, they actually take money if you've been collecting welfare as well. And it mentions up to half of your winnings. So if you, if you, you know, hit over $600, as we all know, we, you have to go to the state office and claim it. You can't just get the cash from the gas station where you bought a ticket. You have to go to the office and provide your social security number and that they'll find out if you owe any of this stuff. So you really have to provide that information to get your winnings. Although there are ways around it, it's illegal, but there are ways around it. You can give the ticket to someone else and have them claim the money, and then they would pay you when they get the money. And uh, a couple of guys got in trouble for this. This guy, Neil Ferguson, and this other guy, Eduardo Moran Barrera. Apparently, people who won a lottery would give them the tickets and they would they would claim those tickets for instance Moran won the lottery 686 times in the past five years for almost 1.5 billion million dollars so I guess people who owed like back taxes or child support um, didn't want to claim it because they would get half it taken away so they give it to Moran or Ferguson and those guys would just um, claim the money and then probably keep a percentage for themselves as their service. So um, so it's kind of an interesting topic. And I was curious what other people think. Because when you receive Medicaid, as you know, if you receive Medicaid, then it's kind of like, um, uh, cheaper or free health insurance for people who have um, who may not have a job or um, who d don't have the money to afford normal health insurance or if you take um, if you receive welfare then you have to submit um, a claim to the state or the government saying how much money you made and if it's below a certain amount of money you you'll receive food stamps and it just subsidized your living which I think is fine, and I think we'll, we all agree that if you're receiving food stamps or some type of welfare, then and you and you need that money to live, I think we would all agree they should receive it. Um, and obviously, none of us like people who get get those things and when they don't deserve it, when they're actually making money. So it so if you hit the lottery, then you really shouldn't be receiving that. But what do you think? Do you think they should take all your back? If you, if you receive, say, food stamps for the last two years, do you think the lotto should be able to reclaim that money that you've taken? Because you, you, you did get it for free in a sense because other people paid for it. People who work paid for uh, your food stamps and your welfare or Medicaid. So is it fair? that um, other people had to pay. And I totally get it if you needed it. Uh, but it's kind of like a friend lending you money. Say lend you $100 every month for like uh, two years straight, say. And you use that money to, pay, to buy food and your friend was fine with it and you were fine with it. But say, say, you got, say then you came into money. Say either you inherited a lot of money or you won a lottery, or say you got a really great job and you started making really nice money. And your friend who lent you the money um, 
whether they had a good job or not, just say to make it easy, say they didn't have a great job. They were making 50,000 a year or 40,000 a year and you got this job making 500,000 a year. Shouldn't it, wouldn't it be the right thing to do to pay your friend back, right? Because of all the all those months your friend gave you a hundred bucks. I know that people don't look at it that way. They think of the, the government as this large entity that has an endless amount of money. So why should they have to pay them back? But I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying they should pay them back or should not pay them back. I'm just kind of opening, opening the can of worms to seeing what other people think. I think they probably should pay it back. Because I, I know I would probably feel like I should pay it back, especially if it was a friend giving, giving me the money. I would probably pay them back. And if I think of it that way, the government is getting the money from people. So I don't know. Um, just curious what other people think about this. And, um, and just, you know, throw it in the comments. Hit the like button if you like. I'd uh, appreciate that. Um, thanks for watching.